In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how you can log in to Turnit and uh, create an account and check plagiarism, similarity, and artificial intelligence. So you just uh, Google Turnit and login, or just uh, check the uh, link below the video on the description or the comment uh, section. After you get uh, the page, you can simply go to login to turn it in. You click there and it will lead you to this page that is called turn it in. Here you need to enter your uh, email address and password uh, so that you can get access. But although you just enter your email and password, you cannot check AI or plagiarism or similarity if you do not have a uh, student account already purchased or instructor account already purchased. So anyways, I have an account. So let me just go to the login page. I will put my username and password and then I will uh, log in. Once I log in, I will have this uh, page here to enroll in a class. I can uh, check here if I have a class ID and enrollment password. I can share with you a class ID and enrollment password. Uh, you can enroll, you can just go here and click enroll in a class and here you put the class section and enrollment key and you can submit and you can get access. Otherwise, I, you can just go to a uh, student here, you could toggle this menu and choose instructor. So once you choose instructor, this menu will appear and here you need to click the quit submit button and after that, you will have these uh papers submitted so here i can simply delete them okay here i will go to quick submit or submit on this inbox i need to click search the internet search student papers search periodicals journals and publications and if there is a repository i can just go here and uh, click uh, no repository so submit papers to no repository and click submit and once i have this page i can simply choose this uh, let's say just names like this and click uh, like that and then uh, this is just a way to fill out those names and then i can choose from this computer and here i need to locate the file that i want to test I want to test this paper, so I will just locate it, click open, and then click upload. And then it will give me a receipt. Uh, so I need to wait for it to be uploaded. So here it is. So here the word count, the character count, the file size, etc. And I will click confirm. And here once I confirm, I will simply uh, click go to assignment inbox. In case I have another paper, I will just click submit another file. So go to assignment inbox and here is the, the paper and here's the similarity. So I could just refresh the page if this is not appearing and I click the similarity. And here we go. So turn it in, you could see the similarity and here is the AI. So we could just click here to see the similarity. It is 12%. You see, and here are the sources that are, let's say, constituting 12%. Uh, I can also do the filtering so that I can exclude the, uh, let's say, bibliography and quotes and apply changes. So that percentage may drop if I exclude bibliography, etc. It will stay the same. After that, here is AI that is 72%. I need to double click this. Uh, AI and new page will open on the browser that contains the full report of AI. So here is the uh, uh, Turnitin uh, AI report. You could see that 72% detected as AI. You could see here the uh, text that is flagged as AI. You could just locate it and uh, you can do maybe paraphrasing using some tools like Higgs AI or Stilt Writer websites. In case you used uh, AI in paraphrasing or rewriting some sections. And yeah, so this is like a way to do this. Uh, but just when you are using AI, I guess that AI is going to be used in any ways. But the way AI is used should be responsible, transparent, 
and also should be human verified because AI makes a lot of mistakes and uh, let's say factual mistakes and even other types of mistakes so you should be careful when you are using AI at least post editing the human uh, post verification is required and paraphrasing according to the writing style of yours is really required to just uh, avoid problems of AI anyways this is how we can read the AI report so this is AI generated only and AI generated text I can just download this report here and download the AI writing report I can also download the other uh, report which is just the uh, this one so if I could just go to so I if I want to download this report I could just go to this icon here you see and click and then you can uh, uh, download the current view this one uh, that is uh, with similarity flagged if I want just to redownload the originally submitted file this is useless because I already have it digital receipt and I don't need the digital receipt I can just download the current view so once I click on it it will be downloaded so this is in brief how you can uh, check uh, log into let's say turn it and check plagiarism and check AI fast if you have questions or remarks, do not hesitate to post them below. See you soon and bye for now.